This video will cover the topic, solving a tax rate or interest rate problem using a system of linear equations. Let's do an example. A theater group made appearances in two cities. The hotel charge before tax in the second city was $1,500 lower than in the first. The tax in the first city was 3.5% and the tax in the second city was 6%. The total hotel tax paid for the two cities was $385. How much was the hotel charge in each city before tax? How do we use all of this information to solve the problem? First, let's see what the question wants us to know. It wants us to find out how much each hotel charges before tax, right? Exactly. Now that we know what we are looking for, let's start creating the linear equations that will help us solve the problem. In this case, let's let x be the hotel charge in dollars in the first city before tax and why be the hotel charge in dollars in the second city before tax. We were given a lot of information for this problem, so let's make a table to organize our data. We already decided that x would be the hotel charge in dollars in the first city before tax, and y the hotel charge in dollars in the second city before tax, so we can insert that into our table. By looking at the problem, we can also see that the tax in the first city was 3.5% and the tax in the second city was 6%. We know that to find the tax paid on each hotel, we need to multiply the hotel charge before tax by its tax rate. So that means that our tax paid for the hotel in the first city would be 0.035x, and for the hotel in the second city would be 0.06y. Lastly, the problem told us that the total hotel tax paid for the two cities was $385. Now that we have our information in an organized table, let's create the two linear equations based off of the information we were given that will help us find the solution. The problem told us that the hotel charge before tax in the second city was 1,500 lower than in the first. So let's use that information to create a linear equation for the hotel charge before tax in the second city. The other information that the problem gave us about our two variables is that the total tax paid equals $385. We can use this information and what we know about the total tax paid on the two hotels to create the linear equation. 0.035x plus 0.06y is equal to 385. Now we have our two equations needed to solve the problem. What do we do now? The next step is to use a graphing calculator to plot the two equations we made and see where they intersect, because that point will have our values for y and x. Don't equations need to be solving for y to be put in the graphing calculator? Our second equation has both the x and y variables on the same side. You're absolutely right. Before we can graph our equations, we need each equation to be solving for y. The first equation is fine but the second one needs to be changed by isolating the y variable to one side. When we do that, we are left with y is equal to the quantity of 385 minus 0.035x all over 0.06. Now that we have our two equations, we can put them in the graphing calculator to input our two equations and find where they intersect. Note that for a lot of problems, you may need to make the window of the calculator bigger to see where the lines intersect. In this case, setting the window for x minimum and y minimum to negative 10,000 and x maximum and y maximum to 10,000 should be enough. Let's put our two equations into the y equals area. And now we hit intersect, where it gives us our solutions for x and y. Which are x is equal to 5000 and y is equal to 3,500. This means that the hotel charge in the first city before tax was $5,000, and the hotel charge in the second city before tax was $3,500.
Okay, I think I get it. First, we identify what the problem is asking us. Next, we gather all of the information our problem is giving us. After that, we use all the data we were given to create two linear equations that relate to both questions we are trying to answer. And lastly, we put those two equations in y equals form into a graphing calculator to find where the lines intersect which gives us our solutions for the problem. That sounded great. It seems like you really understand how to solve a tax rate or interest rate problem using a system of linear equations.